Hey guys, so you seem to really enjoy my morning routine, so I thought I'd share with you my evening one. I'm also going to be talking about my skincare tips and tricks. So, let's get to it. I finish off my day replying to emails and comments on my blog or YouTube channel or on Instagram, and then I throw on my kit and I head out the door to catch a gym class. I've just got the new Ivy Park workout gear by Beyonce, and I'm really excited to wear it. Maybe it'll make me train harder. Who knows? Let's see. Before I hit the gym, I like to take off my makeup using a cream cleanser. This prevents me from getting breakouts. I place a few pumps of the cleanser onto a flat cotton wool pad and just wipe it across my face and neck. I'm using anti-pollution cleansing milk by Clarins because it's really gentle on my skin as it's made with all natural ingredients and rids my skin of any dirt, bacteria or pollution that gets trapped in the pores. If you've been following me on Snapchat, you'll know that I'm really into Barry's bootcamp at the moment. It's high intensity training, not for the faint hearted, and it's a full on sweat-a-thon, but you end up feeling great afterwards. After a jog home from class, I'm feeling pretty exhausted, mind and body, so it's time for a relaxing bath. Once I have the bath running, I add a few special ingredients. Sometimes it's bath salts, but this evening I'm trying out this tea bag by Bulgari which turns the water into this tropical green colour and leaves my skin feeling so soft. I don't always wash my hair after a gym workout, I do try and wing it with a good old blast of the hair dryer and some dry shampoo, but this evening it's got to that point that dry shampoo just won't cut it. I've been using these products for years and they really help my hair look healthy and shiny. After my bath I like to moisturise. This one by Aesop is so nice because it's rich and it easily dissolves into my skin which can often be dry or dehydrated. I don't feel any residue afterwards and it smells so fresh. Now onto my skincare routine. I start with cleansing my skin using the same Clarins one I used earlier. Then I use a gentle eye makeup remover to wipe away any mascara. I put some on a cotton wool pad and hold it down for a few seconds over each eye so that it really sinks into the lashes and just makes it easier to wipe away. This one is really good as it's oil based so it easily removes even the toughest of waterproof mascara. Next I put on a mask. Sometimes I'll use a hydrating mask depending on how my skin feels. If you see my snapchat you'll know I'm a big fan of face masks. This evening I'm going to be using a deep pore cleansing mask from SkinCeuticals which is really good at removing impurities and oils on my skin and also exfoliating. Basically, it gets rid of all the gunk you don't want on your face before you go to bed. After 10-15 minutes, it will completely dry and then I wash it off using a damp cloth and cool running water. I then use a toner which just helps close my pores and this one is alcohol free and made with chamomile so it's very soothing on my skin. Now for my serum. I'm using a Hydro Quench Intensive Serum that gives extra hydration for your skin. Next on to Moisturiser. This one by Tom Ford is my favourite to use at night. It's less of a cream and more of like a souffle. It's so rich and creamy and has these small golden pearls which give my skin this really gorgeous natural glow. It's also full of antioxidants which help stimulate the natural repair of your skin. And in the morning, I find that my skin looks so much more vibrant. Eye cream. When I'm tired, it shows first around my eyes. I'm using this eye cream by Avene at the moment because it's not too heavy and it's for sensitive eyes. I find in the morning, my skin around my eyes looks visibly more plump and any little fine lines or anything are dissolved. This lip balm is amazing and I love it because it smells like a candy shop and it really hydrates my lips and lasts so I don't have to keep reapplying. Now time to grab a bite before bed. I did my meal prep earlier and so I just had to heat up this halibut and broccoli in the microwave. And ta-da! Time now to hit the pillow and have a read of my book. At the moment I'm reading this incredible book by Gloria Steinem who is a famous feminist and political activist. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching my video and that you found something useful from it. This skincare routine really worked for me, so I hope it works for you guys. And make sure to subscribe so I see you in my next video. And please give it a thumbs up if you like this video and you want to see more. So good night from me.
So I started off doing 5 kilometer runs and then gradually built it up to 20 kilometer runs. I tried to train about 4 or 5 times a week and I find that mixing it up between short runs and long runs is really effective and helpful.